know her by name. <laughs> oh, but listen to me. Let me tell you something. All God is looking for is vessels. Hallelujah. That's all he's looking for. He's looking for willing vessels. My sister, what's your name? Kalia. Let's give Kalia a hand. Because she made herself available to the Lord to be used by him. God bless you. Give him a hug, girl. Love you. All right. Um, we're not going to spend a lot of time with this. Because the Holy Spirit already... Broke some chains. <laughs> has done the job. He whooped the enemy. But I'm going to just take a moment just to read to you today's message. It's found in your bulletins. If you have your bulletin, you hear, see right here in the front. Those of you that prefer going to your Bible, you can turn with me to Isaiah chapter 9. And we're going to read verses 6 and 7. Don't blink, because in a minute we'll be, we'll be out of here. <laughs> Isaiah 9, verses 6 and 7. The Word of God says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Awesome. Yeah, go ahead. It's all right. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice. From that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you for another opportunity to be in your presence. We thank you for choosing us to be your offspring. We ask you now that you would bless this word, bless every person that is under the sounding of your word that we will all not only hear not only listen but that we will obey and do your word we bless you now in Jesus name amen, amen. as I said I'm not going to spend a lot of time because this is uh, straight to the point okay first of all the word of God says unto us a child is born it's very important for you to know that sin had run rampant over the earth. And God had to sow a righteous seed into the earth. And he chose his son. His name is Jesus. Genesis 3.15 If you give me a moment while I turn to this I want you to see something here How many of you are familiar with the fall of man? How many of you are familiar with how we got in this mess in the first place? Hello somebody Okay Genesis 3.15 says I will put enmity between you and the woman. He's speaking to Satan now. Okay? He's speaking to the serpent. Matter of fact, let's go to 14. It says, So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle, and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. 
Do you think it was by mistake that the praise and worship team sang the song? There's an army rising up. Oh, you don't think that was by accident? You think it was coincidental? I don't think so. The word of God says unto us a child is born. And we need to know who this child is. Jesus. His name is Jesus. And then the next verse says, and unto us a son is given. Pooh, my Lord Jesus, help me now. I can spend the whole day on that one. How many of you know John 3.16? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not what? Perish. But have everlasting life. What does verse 17 say? For God sent not his son into the world to do what? To condemn the world. But that the world through him might be saved. Hello, somebody. Amen. We're breaking chains today. We're breaking chains. Some chains that held your mind all bound up. Got you all confused. Got you all messed up with religion. Oh, did, did Pastor say that? I thought it was about a religion. No, it's not. How many of you grew up singing, give me that old time religion? Come on, people. The Bible says you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. My Bible tells me, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. I don't know anything else I got to do. How much it costs? Nothing. Cost you nothing, because Jesus paid the price. But in order for you to be able to say that Jesus paid the price, you have to first know his beginnings. Amen. He was born. He was born in a manger. Where else is, are you, any farmers around here? Anybody here from the, uh, from the, from the Midwest? Anybody from Wyoming? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anybody know what it means? Where, where, does, where, where would you find a lamb? A, a, a lamb? Where are you going to find a lamb? You going you gonna to find a lamb in a hotel? No. Motel? You going to find a lamb in the inn? No. You going to find the lamb where? In a barn. That's where, that's where lambs are supposed to be born. You think it was by mistake that there was no room in the inn? Oh, I know. What is this man talking about? I thought he was a pastor. How do you know, how many of you know that Jesus is the Lamb of God? He is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. Amen. Therefore, because He was created. Oh, Jesus, help me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thought I was going to just read this and say goodbye. Oh, my God. Y'all pulling on me now. Listen. Jesus was sent here on this earth to be a sacrifice for us. Yes, amen. Okay? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Say that again. He said that was his job. Hello, somebody. That was his earthly assignment. Hallelujah. That was his divine purpose. Somebody says, oh no, that's not true. He was born, he was born to, to, to lay to, to, to raise Lazarus from the dead. He was he was born to walk on water. He was 
born to, to open up the, the blind eyes and to, 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 to heal those that were, were, were diseased. Oh yes, he did all those things. Okay, he even changed water into wine. Okay, but I got news for you. His ultimate purpose to come on this earth was to become the sacrificial lamb. He was to shed his blood on the cross. For us. For us. If you don't receive any other gift this year for Christmas, <laughs> I want to offer to you the most precious gift. This gift will not only last you through this season, but it will last you <laughs> for the rest of your life and for the life to come. Amen. Okay. And the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government in peace, there will be no end. Let's stop for a minute because let's pay attention to this word government. Had to go there. <laughs> Especially as we're approaching 2016 and we see a whole bunch of craziness going on right now with our local government. By the way, when you see that word government, you should understand his rulership, his authority. Okay, this is my question. Whose authority are you going to submit yourself to? Have you noticed? Have you noticed? We started up talking about the child. Right? Well, we're not talking about the child no more. The child has grown. Okay? And the child has now grown just as we are. We, we're grown now, right? And by now, we should not be like children any longer. We should be looking at. What is my purpose in life? Yeah, yeah. How about that part? I don't know about you, but I can tell you my story. And that is, I ran from my purpose. And it got me in trouble. Anybody else like that in here? Anybody else? But what God is saying is, it's okay. You, got, you still have time. All you got to do is make a adjustments okay so you gotta do make an adjustment the Bible says whosoever will let him come right so all you gotta do is make that adjustment and recognize that Jesus is the author and the finisher of your faith Understand that he that began a good work in you is faithful to see it to completion. Amen. How many of you started out? You started the, 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 the road. You started the walk with Jesus. Then all of a sudden you found, you, you found yourself having fallen. How many of you feel sometimes like, I don't measure up, Pastor. I don't measure up. Oh, oh, well, let me, let me help you with something here. <laughs> None of us measure up. Okay, let's get that straight. The Bible says, for all have sinned comes short of the glory of God. So for those of you goody two-shoes, for those of you that 
believe that you walk the straight and narrow. For those of you that honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy, no pun intended, no pun intended, but I'm just trying to get you to understand something here. That the Word of God says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So that means the only way you're going to get this straight is by embracing Him. Alright? And that is who? Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Are we on the same page? Alright. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just read two more scriptures and then I'm going to lock it down. Matthew 1 1. Let's see what Matthew 1 1 says. Is that okay? Make some noise, somebody. All right. It says in Matthew 1 1 says, The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Now, the reason why I had to read that is because I want to remind you that we're reading from Isaiah. The prophet Isaiah, he's the one who prophesied and said, wait a minute. He says, for unto us a child is born. He didn't say, for unto us a child is going to be born. Right? He wasn't talking about the future. He was talking about now. So, watch this. When he spoke, it was hundreds, hundreds of years before Jesus even came on the scene. Okay? Pastor, where are you going with this? Ah, I'm glad you asked. Are you ready? Let's turn to Luke now. Luke 1, 31. Now watch this. I love when this happens. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Luke 1, verse 30. Then the angel said to Mary, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great. And will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. Did you hear that? His father, David. Anybody else shaking their head? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It says here he will be great and he it will be called the son of the highest and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. Hold on now. David was Jesus' father? Come on, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus, I love you. I love you so much. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo. Am I the only one excited? All right. And, and, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom, there will be no end. Amen. How many of you know that David was a king? Yeah. Mm -hmm. King David. King David. How many of you know that G that God said about David, a man after my own heart? Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. yes, he did. I just read from Matthew 1:1 1, 1, that Jesus came through the genealogy of who? David. David. And David represented a righteous kingdom. Did he not? Y'all get ready to close the book. 
Because let me tell you something about this kingdom that Jesus came to establish on this earth. It is a righteous kingdom. Yes, indeed. But it's also a holy kingdom. Okay? Now, why am I going this way, Carol? Why am I going this way? You know what I'm saying? Listen. First of all, I need you to understand something here. You can't earn your righteousness. Everybody with me? You can't earn this righteousness. You don't even deserve this righteousness. This righteousness is a gift. Okay? This righteousness is part of the package deal. It's all encapsulized in Jesus. All right? Now this is where I'm going to close it down. I'm going to close it down. We're going to go to 1 John 5.20. We're going we're gonna to close it down with this. It says here in 1 John 5.20, And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we may know Him who is true. And we are in Him. Uh-oh. And we are in Him. Uh-oh. And we are in Him who is true. In His Son, Jesus Christ, this is the true God in eternal life. You notice I closed the book, right? The reason why I'm closing the book is because I need you to understand if you are in Christ, the Bible says you are a new creature. You're a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. The blood of Jesus. Again, I ask you this question. You think it was by accident that we sang that song? No. Come on, praise and worship team. Come on, I'm done. No. You think it was by accident that, that that God wanted you to know that He's that He has that He's oh Jesus, help me. He's raising up an army. And do you think the army is the praise and worship team? No, it's not. The army is you! Yeah. 